Hey everybody, welcome back to another One Gauge video where we describe all of the features, the options, and the capabilities of our One Gauge digital dashes. So, um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the CAN bus option, which is basically the third way to get data into the One Gauge system. The first way is your standard sensor inputs. These sensor inputs can be used in conjunction with any of the other options, OBD2 and CAN bus. Um, and these are basically a way to wire in standard sensors. Your second option for inputs is OBD2, and then your third option that I'm going to talk about today is CAN bus. So CAN bus is a more modern communication, um, basically a communication method that allows um, multiple things to all communicate together using a single language. That language is called the protocol, and I'll talk more about that later. But one gauge, uh, we can basically add on a small unit that has two screw terminals on it for a CAN high and CAN low, and that provides what is basically a plug and play method to communicate with your ECU or your EFI. So CAN bus is typically used with aftermarket ECUs, things like Megasquirt, Haltech. Um, there's a ton of different ECU manufacturers and most of them provide a CAN bus output for a digital dash and that's what we would use. Um, it broadcasts the sensor readings 10 to 20 to 100 times per second depending on the ECU. One gauge reads those and then sends it to your screen. So very simple. Um, they almost always provide a lot of different uh, sensor readings, things like RPM, AFR, um, your basic temperatures, your, your boost and vacuum, your map readings, things like that are, are what's typically communicated by uh, your CAN bus setups. CAN bus also allows us to communicate with other EFI kits like Holly. So the Holly Terminator, the Sniper, the um, that whole system of Holly ECUs uses the same language or protocol. Um, we do have that information so we can get many of those sensor readings out of the Holly as well to allow you to read um, your Holly ECU and combine that with other sensors and options that we provide to build a full digital dash system. Um, we also provide communication with Phytech ECUs. For Phytech, we do not use CAN bus. It's a separate system, um, but it works in a similar way. Um, for both Holly and Phytech systems, we provide plug and play options so that basically um, it provides a splitter. One signal goes to your handheld, the other signal goes to the one gauge hub, and then you get all your sensor readings on those. So, um, you know, CAN bus is really simple. The most important thing though, if you're looking for it is that if we don't already have the, the system programmed into our unit, we have to have what's called the protocol. And the protocol is essentially the language to translate all of the numbers that are coming from the ECU because that's how it communicates. So we have to be able to decode those numbers. Um, some manufacturers of ECUs release their protocol. If so, there's typically a PDF which just lists um, basically the translation process of how to convert all of those numbers into the actual sensor data. Um, otherwise, things get a little bit trickier if it's not released. Um, sometimes we can figure out and back into that data. Um, other times it's more difficult. So um, if you don't see your ECU listed on our um, compatibility list that's on our website, please reach out. We're happy to discuss. We can help you look and see if we can find that protocol and make it happen for your ECU. So as always, appreciate you watching our videos. There'll be lots more links to other videos in the description below, as well as any clarification or additional information that I might have missed in this video. Um, you can send us any questions you have at info at theonegage.com. That's our email address, also in the description below, and we are always happy to answer questions. Thanks so much for watching.